kind of shoes. I'm going to go ahead and start the Instagram as well. All right. Yes, everyone grab a pair of shoes. Doesn't matter what kind of shoes you have, but we are going to be doing some shoe mobility today. Yay, exciting. It's Friday. We did it. We're here. All right. Go ahead and grab those shoes. Cool. So some of the stuff we're going to be doing today um, is not necessarily in a vertical manner, so for the blood pooling. Uh, but keep in mind, we're not necessarily doing this for strength, we're doing it for mobility, flexibility, and bodily control. So that is the goal today, to increase our range of motion and the length of our muscles. So you got your shoes coming up to stand. You can set those over to one side. Start your cycle. And we're gonna start our, wor our workout with a warm up with some shoulder stretch rotation. Um, and those look like so. So I'm gonna flip around so you can see. I take my right hand, but you know, right hand between my shoulder blades, pulling the left hand up and back. And we're actually gonna work through this. So find as much contact as you can or work towards it. And then start to extend the arms out, rotate them around, and then switch sides. Okay, touch the back, rotate out, switch them around, come back through. We're doing 30 seconds of this, just to start to wake up the shoulders and get a nice stretch in the triceps, warming everything up. And each time you reach back behind you, I want you to grow a little bit taller and work towards finding that fingertip, maybe that palm connection. So what are we doing here? Why is this important? We're not only stretching our shoulders and our triceps, but we're also working the shoulders through internal and external rotation. So that's a mobility thing. Good. Mm -hmm. Last 10. And we have five, four, three, two, and one, go ahead and release. We're gonna do that one more time, give the shoulders a shrug. Now, if you have no problem finding contact, great, good news, just keep reaching further and further, pressing the back of the head back to get into the stretch. So let's set up for our second set. Right hand between the shoulder blades, left hand reaches up and back, 30 seconds, work through that range of motion. So really twisting the arms at the top and then bringing them through. And different kind of difficulty today. Nice. And last 10. And we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Roll those shoulders out. All right. We are going to get into the forearms, but we're going to do it in the name of mobility. So this is a upward palm press. I pull my shoulders away from my ears. I spread my fingers really wide. I lift up, release down. I pull the backs of my hands up as high as I can, release down. Now, as you do this, the elbows are gonna wanna bend. Take the elbows extremely straight, almost lock them out. So you're really just working into that range of motion at the wrist, strengthening the form, okay? So we're gonna do 40 seconds, pull the shoulders down, Straighten out the elbows. Here we go. Pull those hands up and down. And I really want you to keep your fingers spread wide. So we're working into the wrist and the forearms and not just flopping our fingers around. Mm -hmm. Good. And each time you do this, I want you to be actively pressing the arms away from you as you pull the backs of the fingers towards the form. Super. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. Good, see if you can get a little bit more range there in at the top. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Roll the wrist around. Now this time we're gonna work the other direction. I extend the fingertips down, I bend in and out. Now what's gonna happen here is your fingers are naturally gonna wanna bend to try and help get that range. I want you to keep your fingers straight, just bending at the wrist, getting into the form, okay? 40 seconds. Here we go, up and down. 
Nice. Extending through the fingertips the whole time. Good. Happy Friday, everybody. Good to see everyone. Good to be here. Keep spreading those fingers even wider. Half done. Nice. And we're not really used to doing this movement. It'd be like being in plank on the backs of your hands. So it might feel a little bit more funky than the first set. Last five, four, three, two, rest. Good. All right. Next up, we have tricep rockers. Um, we've done these before in the name of strength. Today, we're going to do them in the name of mobility and really working the arms from bent to straight. Uh, this is one of the only strength exercises we're going to do for the upper body. Um, the rest are just going to be pure mobility. So I come onto hands and knees, keeping my hips stacked over my knees. I walk my arms forward as far as you can, and then you come down, press up, down, press up. Now, I don't care how you can be this far for all I care, as long as your hips stay over your knees, okay? So walk yourself out into a position that is as comfortable as you feel good, you feel safe doing this. And we have our first 40 seconds. I come down, press up, come down, press up. And play with walking your hands even further. There we go. Good, maybe they're barely off the ground. Down and up, awesome. Good, keep pressing your butt back. Really working into that muscle. Great, I'm gonna keep my cycle going. There we go. Half done. Yes. Good, should be starting to feel some shaking in those forearms. If you're not, walk your hands even further. No, last five, four, three, two, and one. Walk the hands back towards the body and take a quick break. We're gonna do one more set. So challenging our triceps and are able to control our ability to control our body, even when we walk the arms really far away from our midline. So let's go ahead and set up again. Walk the hands super far away. 40 seconds. Three, two, one. I rock down, press up. Rock down, press up. That's the step. Keep going. We're not doing cardio today. We are just doing mobility, flexibility. Great. Mm -hmm. Half done. If you can, walk your arms out even further. And imagine you have a tail sticking out back behind you. Stick that tail up towards the sky even more. We're also getting a nice back bend here. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Walk the hands underneath the shoulders. And stacking the joints, find a nice flat spine. We're gonna take three rounds of our segmented cat cow. So let's activate the body. Press the floor away from you with your hands. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Start to lift your tailbone up and then slowly drop your belly down, pulling your chest through your arms. Good. Now keeping that lift of the chest, let's work it the other way. Tuck the tailbone under. One vertebrae at a time, round out, press the floor away. That was one rep. Let's do two more. Dome the upper back, keep it lifted. Start to tuck the tailbone up, uh, lift the tailbone, sorry. And then slowly drop the belly, pull the arms through. And let's work the other way. Keep the chest out, tuck the tailbone. Slowly work all the way back up. Good. Last one, dome the upper back, activate the arms, strong, untuck the tailbone, lift it up, slowly drop the belly, pull the chest through. This should be intense if we're really working it. Good, keeping the heart lifted, tuck the tailbone under, one vertebrae at a time, round all the way out, and come into a nice flat back. Great job. Let's come on up to stand. So a lot of times when I work with people as they age, they have trouble working like this. So going from this to straight arms. So 
So let's do a quick test together and see how we're doing on horizontal shoulder extension. So everyone open your arms out to the sides like a scarecrow. Mm -hmm. Spread those fingers. And then nice and slowly, pressing the elbows back, work your arms all the way up to straight. And what we want to see here is that as I straighten my arms or in line with my ears, I don't start to pitch forward. So let's do two more. Bend into the elbows. Straighten the arms all the way back up, pulling them alongside your ears the whole time. Take the bend on the elbow, shoulder extension. Good. One more. Bend the elbows. And reach all the way up. Good. Pull the arms back. Full shoulder extension. Engage the core. Reach. And then start to take the right hand. Rotate the pinky finger back. Bring it all the way back. And up. Left pinky finger goes back. Bring it all the way back. And up. Good. Two more. And last one. And bring the arms down. Now let's let the blood pool for a bit before we keep working. Go ahead and bring the elbows slightly below the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start with our shoulder rotation. So find your right hand, press it back behind you. Find your left hand, press it down towards the floor. Press and squeeze. Give me six, five, four, three, Two, switch side. Good, press and squeeze, grow even taller, use your core. Six, five, four, three, two. Two more sets, rotate, six, five, spread your fingers, four, three, two. Good, press it out, squeeze, more, more, more. Yes, six, five, four, three, Two, last ones, rotate, give me six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Final half of this set, press, squeeze as much as you can, a little bit more, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, starting to wake up those shoulders even more. Now let's grab our shoes and take the work that we just did and build on it. So I'm working my spine and I'm working my shoulders. So take a gander at the screen before you come down to do this. I make my way down into my belly, so prone work. I grab my shoes, I reach forward, my palms facing down. I start to bring the arms out by my side. Now I flip my palms to face up, tap as high on the back as you can, reach back, flip the palms, Tap the spine. So palms are down, reach, pull down, rotate, tap the back, reach, pull up, tap the back, okay? And if you don't wanna do this with shoes, you don't have to, just gives us something to kind of hold on to and remind us to keep our arms off the ground. So go ahead and make your way down into your stomach. We'll work through this for doing 40 seconds together. So palms are facing down, lift your arms up and off the floor, maybe even lift your legs. Pull your arms down by your sides. Flip your palms to face, place, face up. Tap as high on the back as you can. Reach back. Flip the palms to face down. Reach up. Tap the back. Reach forward. Pull. Rotate. Tap the back. Reach back. Rotate. Pull. And tap. And keep working through that range. And if it doesn't make sense, just work through taking the arms up and all the way back and all the way up, reaching those shoes away from your body the whole time. Last 10. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Now, we're going to take the shoes and we're going to do an activity that I call clearing the shoes, okay? So take your shoes, place them on either side of your shoulders, on your belly, reach your arms forward. We're gonna reach, lift up, clear the shoes, tap the floor behind us, lift, clear the shoes, tap forward. 
Now, maybe having one shoe is super easy for you. If that's so, put the shoe on its side, or better yet, stack the shoes so you have more that you have to clear. So go ahead and reach the arms forward. Lift the legs, lift the arms, clear the shoes, tap the floor behind you, lift, clear the shoes, tap forward. Okay, so 40 seconds, we're going. Now I'm going to check the screen and make sure everyone's doing okay, because I know that this is a bizarre one. <laughs> we went out on a limb today. Yes, perfect. Everyone's got it. Now, don't just clear your shoes. Imagine you're clearing three shoes. Get those arms up even higher, bringing them all the way up and around. Gaze is down at the mat the whole time. Back of the neck is long. Amazing. Kazaya looks good. Yes, I'm seeing a lot of active range of motion here. That's beautiful. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Everyone, make your way onto your forearms. Good. Get a nice spine stretch. Good. And then we're gonna tuck our toes for our last upper body exercise. It is a forearm plank with an arm circle. So we're gonna take that work we just did and use it in our forearm plank. So go ahead and tuck your toes, lift your hips up into plank, reach the left arm back, tap the floor, reach all the way up and over, set it down. Right arm reaches back, tap the floor, bring it up and over and set it down. Okay, 40 seconds, go for it. We've been warming up the shoulders this whole time to be able to add this element of strength and still work into that joint. Awesome. Now, these are ones that are supposed to be taken slow, and I want you to keep both your shoulders facing down towards the ground the whole time. Cool. Weird stuff today, I know. But you guys have got it. Mm -hmm. Half done. Yes. Amazing. Last 10. Extend through those fingertips. Give me two more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Everyone, make your way up to stand. Let's take the stretch and then we'll swap out arm bands for leg bands and have our question of the day. Pull the chest open. Good, without compromising the spine, little presses up, up. Open up the biceps and the chest. Give me eight, seven, grow taller, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it. Pull, lift your chest, and release. Good job funky shoulder stuff. Um, let's go ahead and swap out our bands for our legs. The question of the day is, what is your favorite time of day to work out and why? And I'll start. Oh, John says morning. Get it done. Got it. You got it. <laughs> I'd say mine is morning as well. One, to get it done, and two, because it is the my favorite way to start the day. If I start the day with some exercise, the rest of my day just tends to be a lot better. I think it's a, an attitude adjustment thing. All right, what else we got? Sydney and Sophia say morning, good start to the day. Heck yeah, Mary says morning, gives me more energy the rest of the day. I so agree. Steve says morning when the sun rises, preferably with a rainbow. Oh my gosh, way to create your perfect setting. I take a rainbow, yeah. And a coconut. <laughs> Bonnie says between one and four, it refreshes me. I like that kind of nice way to break up the day. What's up, Instagrammers? We're on Zoom right now, and we're talking about our favorite time of the day to work out and why. So if you have input, feel free to toss it in the comments. Diane says, morning is cooler. Jeff says, 11 a.m. at the end of intermittent fasting. Drops more human growth hormone after fasting. Cool. Cut it. 
Sai says morning because it's cooler. Got a lot of morning exercisers and a couple people who like to kind of use it to break up the day. All right. I'm on that morning train as well. Sometimes after work, I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I want to do this anymore, especially when your work is working out. All right. Leg bands on. So let's start by an exercise that's really going to challenge our range of motion as well as our balance. Okay. So start by some heel lifts to wake up the calves. We're going to do 30 seconds of those. Then we're going to work into lifting our heels, rocking down and up. Okay. So let's start with heel lifts. Give me 30 seconds. Here we go. Get those heels used to being up, waking up the calves. Good. Nice. Good. See if you can grow a little bit taller. Maybe you don't let your heels even hit the floor. Last 10 seconds. There we go. Five, four, three. Now, let's add some moves into that exercise. So what it looks like is I lift my heels. I drop my knees down towards the floor. So I lean back into it, getting my butt towards my heels back behind me. And I come all the way back up. So it's not this. It's this. Okay? So two sets, 40 seconds each. Let's give it a shot. Heels up and off the floor. Start to lean back. Drive your knees down towards the floor, keeping a long line from the top of your head to your knees to come all the way down or as low as you can. Press all the way up. Drop the heel. And at the bottom there, my line started to shorten because I started around my spine. So we want to stop at that point where we start to round out and press back up. Good, lean forward, get down as low as you can, and rise back up. Keep going. Good. And I don't even have a name for these. It's just this cool drill. I was watching someone who I follow who's really big in the mobility stuff too, and I was like, we're going to try that. I don't even know what that is, but we're going to do it. Cool. Nice. Mm-hmm. Last 10, we're engaging our quads enough to keep ourselves stable no matter how low we go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Cool. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. You especially have to engage your whole body controlling everything if you want to get low. Otherwise, you just kind of flop out. All right, second set. Here we go. Lift those heels. 40 seconds. Give me that lean. Bend, get low, <laughs> and come back up. And if it feels scary, just don't drop as low into it. It doesn't matter how low you go. You're challenging the control of your own body. That's the only goal here, is working into that. Cool. Nice, Jim. These are good, guys. Last 10. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, good job, three, two, and one. Bonnie, that was awesome. A couple butt kicks to release the quads. All right. Next up, we have Cossack transfers. And I really want to reiterate today that whatever variation or version of this exercise you can get your body into is perfect. The reason that we do the mobility work is not because we're all perfect at mobility. It's so that we can gain more mobility. So none of this stuff, any of us should be able to do perfectly, okay? So for perspective, I step nice and wide. I drop into my left side, rotate the right toes up, set them down, stay low over to the other side, rotate up, down, side to side, up, down. So it's 40 seconds of this. Okay. If you can't get this low, doesn't matter. You get as low as you can. Rotate. Stay low. Rotate. 
okay? And as you do it, the body might start to open up. If not, it'll happen another day. So let's give ourselves a start. We've got two sets, 40 seconds, bending into the left leg of the start. Get as low as you can. Rotate onto the heel of the right foot. Set it down. Stay low. Rotate. There we go. If you want to make this even harder, reach your arms forward the whole time. Great, keep it up. Moving side to side. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, let's all check our spines. No slouching, chest up, good form. And I was going pretty fast on my rest. If you want to go slower and drive your butt down even more, do it, but try and stay nice and low. Yes. Awesome, Ty. Last 10. Woo, there you go. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two. Come up to stand, hands on hips, circle them out to release. Another way. Let's work into the other leg. So step nice and wide. This time we're going to bend into the right leg. Arms out. Reach those fists away from you. Active legs, active arms. Here we go. Bend into the right leg. Get low. Rotate onto the toes of the left foot. Come center, rotate side to side. And if this is really easy for you, do it with the arms straight up. But I want you to keep your arms, just like we practiced in the beginning of our work, in line with your ears, so no pitching forward. Keep going. Ty, get your arms up. There you go. <laughs> You don't have to keep them up, but I want you to try it just because you're so low. Cool. Half done. If you have your arms up, really take them up, straighten them. Otherwise, arms forward. That's how you can stop if you want. <laughs> Good. Last 10. Nice, Diane. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gang, that was superb. I love it. Now, we're gonna slow it down a little bit with a much, much smaller movement that is just as significant. So start to make your way down onto your right knee, left foot forward. Mm -hmm. And the move is back foot lift. And my knees are pretty bony, so I'm gonna fold up my mat to get a little more cushion under my back knee. So. The main thing you want to do here is make sure you stay nice and tall. Engage your core. Arms come forward. Give me some fists. First 40 seconds. Get that back heel up, down, up, down. Time's rolling. Take it slow. Get it even higher each time you lift. Mm -hmm. Good. A lot of hamstring strength. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. Good. We have five, four, three, two. Lift that back heel and hold it. Hinge forward. Keep that back heel up. Hold, hold, hold. Five, four, more. Three, two, one. Shift back and release. Let's switch sides. Good. Try and get your heel all the way up to your butt. Arms extend forward. Time is rolling. Up and down. And your pelvis is naturally going to want to kind of tilt here. Keep lifting up. Okay. Even more of a challenge, arms straight up. Make fists. Press your hands away from you, whatever variation you're in. Get your heel into your butt even more. There we go. So we're contracting the hamstring. And later on in our practice, we're going to release the hamstring. Last 10. Then we hold it and come forward. Five, four, three, two. Pull that back foot in. Hinge forward. Hold it. Squeeze. Five, four, more. Three, two, and rest. All right. Switch back to the first side. 
Good. Now let's take an active stretch. Take your hands to your hips, and I want you to pull your front heel and your back knee in towards each other. Hold it, grow tall. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now bend into the front knee. We're going to take our lift from here, up and up. 40 seconds. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. Good. <laughs> Nice. Half done. Pitch forward even more if you can. Yes, that's it. We're getting a stretch and a contraction. Last 10, then we hold it. Five, four, three, two. Pick it up and hold, squeeze. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Switch sides. Oh goodness, I'm feeling that. So first things first, grow tall. Imagine you're pulling your right heel and your left knee in towards each other. So you should feel this, that kind of activate the front of this quad. Pull, 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 pull. Good, now bend into the front knee. Last 40 seconds, up and down. Option to reach the arms forward. Option to reach the arms up. If your arms are up, they're straight, they're in line with your shoulders. Everyone give it a shot, why not? Good. Nice. Last 10. Not last 10. I'm losing my mind. Half done. <laughs> Good. Now we have our last 10. In five, we hold it. Four, three, two. Pull that heel in and hold. Shift forward even more. Get your heel in. Arms up. Punch and reach. Five, four, three, two, and rest, come out of it. All right, come up to stand, active hamstring stretch, and then we're gonna come down onto the mat again. Hands across the chest, 30 seconds. We hinge forward, straight spine, straight legs. We rise back up, and releasing everything. Oh boy, that was a lot of hamstring contracting. Great control of the body though. Good. Last five, four, three, two. Hinge and hold it. Reach your arms back behind you. Little pulses, belly button down towards the ground. Give me eight, seven, six. Pull your shoulders down, collarbones forward for four, three, two, and rise to stand. All right. Back down onto hands and knees. We've got two different exercises we're going to do here. And then we're going to sit for our last exercise of the day. So first things first, grab your shoe. Place it in your left knee crease. And now I want you to lift that leg out to the left and drop it back through center. Out to the left. Drop it through center. That's it to start. Good. Controlling our outer hips is huge in terms of injury prevention. So is gaining this strength. And last 10. In five, we're gonna lift that leg and hold it, dropping the shoe. Three, two, one. Lift and hold. Keep that knee in line with your hip. Kick it out. Pull the heel in, kick it out and in. Check your right arm, is it straight and strong? Good. There we go. Then we have two more things to do here. Five, four, three, two. Extend that leg out and hold it. Tap the ground, lift, tap, lift. Six, five. Four, three, and two. Lift and hold. Little pulses. Give me eight, seven. You can do it. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Rock the hips side to side. Good. 
All right, let's work into the right leg. Grab your shoe, take it into your right knee crease. And some of this stuff mimics some of the strength work and the other work that we do, but we're really focusing on these super sets of moves, targeting muscles so that we can learn how to best use them to support our whole body. So squeeze that shoe, lift up and down to start. Got 30 seconds here, then we're gonna do reps for the rest of the moves. Make sure your arms are strong, push the floor away from you, keep the whole body active to support the work the right hip is doing. Last 10. Good, give me five, four, three, two. Drop that shoe, kick the leg out, in, out, in. Get your knee even higher in line with your hip. Nice, last five, knees higher, four, three, two. On this next one, kick that leg straight, tap the floor, lift. Tap, lift, we have four, then we pull in three, two, lift and hold that little pulse. You can do it, squeeze out everything you've got. Shut your left arm, keep it straight for six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Ooh boy, rock the hip. All right, let's release all of that work. And then we'll come into our next exercise. Pull your right heel into your butt again. Four times, make a big circle. Bring that leg all the way up, around and through. Three. Last two. And final one. Switch legs, four on the left leg. Pull the heel in, work it up and around and through. Good. Two more. And last one. Oh boy. All right. Press your butt back to your heels. Let's take a quick stretch and release. Walk your hands back. If you can, lift your butt off your heels. All right, this next exercise is typically a stretch, but we can turn it into a mobility exercise by adding a couple elements to it. So on your hands and knees, spread the knees really wide, heels in line with the knees, making our way into frog. And I personally love frog, but I know a lot of people hate frog. So if you don't like frog, I'm sorry, but it probably means you need to do frog. Start by shifting your weight backwards and forwards. So warming the body up to being in this position. Awesome. Good. Now start to shift your weight back. Make your way down onto your forearms. Lift the right foot off the floor. Hold it. Set it down. Left foot off the floor. Hold it. Set it down. Now as slowly as you can, we've got 30 seconds of a march, lifting alternating legs up and off the floor. And I want you to really drive the front of your thigh down as you get that foot up, fully pulling your leg into internal hip rotation. And the higher you can get the foot, the better your internal rotation is. And we want that because it's really good for our hip health. Good. Get that foot up even higher. Last 10. Four, three, two, lift your right heel up, hold it, pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, more, four, yes, three, two, release, left side, lift it up, pulse it, eight, seven, butt back, six, five, four, three, two, and release, keep pressing your butt back towards your heels, a little bit more, a little bit more. Good, we've got one more set. Lift the right foot up and off the floor. Good, pulse it, give me eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and release. Left leg, last one. Get that heel up even higher. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Keep your knees where they are. Start to make your way back onto your palms. Now start to wiggle your knees together. Good job. Take some big circles one direction. And big circles the other direction. And I know that this mobility stuff is really kind of weird. Uh, if the group decides that we'd rather just skip it and do a normal workout, please let me know. I'm not in any way tied to this. I just think it's kind of cool. But I want to do what best serves you guys. All right, come back through center. Now, as I promised, we're going to actively lengthen out that hamstring that we worked so hard to contract. Find both of your shoes. Place them on the ground in front of your left foot. Here. There we go. Now, take your left leg outside the shoes. Pull the right knee into the chest and extend your arms out in front of you. Now, keeping your back straight, I want you to lift up, clear the shoes, come back through center, okay? So this is what we're doing. Now, if you can imagine that you're clearing like five shoes, even better, but you're not doing this. We're keeping the spine straight the whole time. First 40 seconds, here we go, left leg up and over, clear the shoe. Good, keep growing tall as you do it. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Mary. Noted. <laughs> we'll keep mobility. Oh, yes. Go even taller. I love it. Amazing. Good. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to lift and hold above the shoes. Three, two, one. Lift and hold it. Grow taller. Little kicks up and up. Come on. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Move those shoots. Inside of the right leg. Hold the left knee to the chest. If you want even more of a challenge on this one, arms straight up. None of this, only this the whole time, or fist reaching forward, okay? Your choice. Scoot those shoes down, 40 seconds. Clear the shoes. Good. Whew. Takes a lot of core, a lot of quad, a lot of control. Amazing. Feel that shake. Reach those arms up or forward even more. Half done. I'm going to go up because why not? Yes. All right, last 10, grow even taller, then we've got that pulse at the end. Five, four, three, two, lift and hold it, little kicks up and up, keep growing taller. Let me see what you got, yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Butterfly stretch, release everything. All right, we've got one more set. And then we are done with this work for the day and we're going full relax and stretch. Take your shoes inside your left foot, pull the right knee into the chest. All right, now I want you to imagine that you're keeping contact with your knee and your chest the whole time if you can. Arms extend out, grow nice and tall, 40 seconds, clear that shoe. And you know what's even more crazy? Doing these with yoga blocks, stacked. That's a hard range. But we'll start with shoes today. Maybe we'll work up to water models. Who knows? Yeah. Now, what am I doing? I am actively lengthening my hamstring like heck. So for those of you who may not be able to touch your toes and have wanted to be able to touch your toes, this is what will help get you there. And I'm strengthening the quad and the core. Good, last 15 seconds. Woo, drive that heel away from you. Six, five, we pulse at the top. Four, 
three, two, little kicks, up and up, grow tall, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, huh. last set. I don't know about you guys, these things make me really tired. Really get that knee in there nice and tall. Also getting a psoas stretch on this side. All right, arms out or arms up. Last 40 seconds of the day, ready, set, here we go. <laughs> it seems counterintuitive to get really pumped on mobility because it's such small movements. We can get really pumped on it, yeah. Get that leg up. Woo, pull your belly button in here the whole time, use your core. Anything we do with mobility is gonna be core centric because the core helps us control our body. So it can never hurt to work that. Hey, amazing. Good. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift and kick, eight, seven, taller, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We did it. We get to take our stretches now. Good job, everyone. Come on up to stand. We just did a whole heck of a lot of quad work. So let's release those guys. Grab your left foot in your hand. Keep pressing your hips forward, pulling the knee back. And you can grab onto a wall or anything you might want here. Good, now really squeeze your glutes. Grow a little bit taller. And release it, switch side. And this will be our last workout with this wonderful ledge as our backdrop because I'm actually moving tomorrow, a whole mile away from where I currently live. Uh, but we'll have a slightly, maybe less exciting white wall <laughs> going forward, just so I don't shock anyone on Monday. Good, release it. Um, go ahead and cross your right leg over top of your left leg. Root the big toes into the floor, and you can always wiggle the legs further apart to make a stronger base. Fold forward, IT band stretch, letting the upper body hang over the leg. And take a little bit bigger bend into the right leg if you can. Sink even lower into it. I know this is a bit wobbly, I'm sorry. And nice and slowly rolling up to stand. Let's switch sides, left leg on top of right leg. Take a micro bend into that knee. Pull yourself into the fold. And drop the gaze down between the legs. Take a little bit bigger bend into the left knee. And when you're ready, start to roll up to stand. Two times, reach the arms all the way up, all the way back, all the way up, all the way back. And then bring the palms together. Good job. Nice Friday workout, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Carl, have a good move. Thank you. Yeah, have a good move. Thanks. It's uh, really Thank fun to move. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun. I like. You know what I'm gonna do? Thanks, gonna Laurel. Move. Have a great weekend. Thank if you. anybody I'm move wants, my band's on. if anybody hey. wants a Laurel um, Cousins 52-page cuts at home color magazine, please put your email in the chat room, and I'll send it to you right now. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, oh, is it ready, Steven? Is it all done? So nervous. It's done. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm excited to see this. This might be like the shining moment of my career thus far. <laughs> Thanks, oh, guys. We have big plans support. for you. Big plans. I'm ready for it. I've got big plans for all of us. We're just gonna keep doing weird stuff every single day until someday we wake up and we're like, oh my God, we're invincible. Who knew? <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'll be sending the email right now. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Got a Thank more. you.